so apparently there happens to be some type of war going on and i have to use that word based on what i am observing and if my observation serves me correctly it means that Ye is about to drag Kim on the internet without care or caution. Even though I really do hope that he doesn't do this, um, I'm understanding that he may potentially take her back to court. Also, he's watching to see what Senate does with this bill to ban TikTok out of the U.S. But TikTok is also fighting back because TikTok is reducing kids time on their platform so tiktok is really going above and beyond to keep the app right no um i came across a video this morning and i'm trying to keep calm right because this is not my child i'm trying to keep calm because it's ridiculous and it's really shocking to see that Ye told the world Kim and Chris is going to have North doing Playboy and all those explicit stuff. And it's even more upsetting that at the time when this man said it, many people called him crazy, mad, get off the internet. But still yet, here we are today watching it slowly happening. And it appears as though there's nothing that Ye can do at this point without a court being involved. Um, I came across this clip of North on TikTok dressing like Ice Spice. And there was a particular word used in the song, right? And, you know, when it says he can't get it, she turned her back around, swing her little ass, because that's what she did. And I have to keep it like that, right? And I'm saying, what well, mother in their right forever loving mind thinks that this is okay and i believe on the back of the pants it had something written like juicy so this girl was dressing like an internet thought this mother had her little girl dressed like an internet thought but isn't that the family brand isn't that what Kylie has been doing ever since she was a child? Because when Kylie got involved with Tyga, she was a child. She was still a baby. And the entire family was okay with it. Kris Jenner's excuse was that, what can I do about it? Well, you could call the police because evidently you weren't in control of your child. You could call the police and have them issue Tyga a warning but did you want to do anything about it? No, because it gave the family good ratings for the family TV series show. It doesn't matter about anything about the child, the trauma that they may have to endure, what they may um, end up doing at a later date. It's all about the money that they could gain at the time. And we're seeing where Kim Kardashian is doing the same thing to North. North is only nine. North is dressing and wearing things that I wouldn't, just to be honest. Um, I believe that kids should be allowed to be kids and grow up as such. I also believe that Kim Kardashian is really, really jealous, even more than what we can fathom, about Ye marrying Bianca Sensori. I believe that Kim is heartbroken at this point and is weaponizing the kids against their dad. I know that Saint is not going to do it because many people believe that Saint does not like his dad, but you're not paying attention if you believe so. As a, as a matter of fact, Saint is very protective when it comes to his dad. When he's ready, he tells his mom whether she agrees or not. He wants to go where his dad is. Sometimes he's the only child that is ready and up to go. You know, I don't know about that little one, Sam. He's just the cutest, right? Every time I see Sam, he reminds me of Robert Kardashian. I see a mini Robert Kardashian in Sam, and that's Kim's dad. He's just so much like her dad. But... 
back to the matters at hand, right? Um, it's evident that Kim is falling apart. And it is also evident that Ye is having some strong conversations with her when it comes to the kids. She doesn't like it. And it's now clear to us, for those who are paying attention, it's actually clear to us that she really doesn't want North around Bianca. And because she cannot stop any of that, she's like, you know, basically treating the child, allowing the child to go about her business like an internet thought. You know, she's using the child to, um, she's weaponizing the child against her dad, you know, because as we've heard, it is within Kim's intention to make this man look so unstable that no one wants to be around him. But Bianca is saying, Ye is not even as crazy as she thought. As a matter of fact, she has found out that this man is wiser than what the public can even imagine. This man is beyond his years. So Kim's plan, they're just backfiring. They're just blowing up in her face. And as such, she feels miserable. She feels very unhappy, very much out of control. And as such, we see where she's weaponizing this little girl against his father. Not just that, she's also making this kid vulnerable. Because if you guys remember, um, Kim has always been complaining about being stalked. If you're being stalked, and if you understand the unpleasantries of being stalked, why is it that you have your little girl, who is just nine years old, dressing like a thought? I want to say something else, but I don't want anyone to believe that I'm talking about a child in such manner. My direct is really at the mom because a child is a child. It is the parent's duty to protect their child. You know, Kim needs to understand that she's not North's friend. She's North's mom. It's not important for her to be her friend at this point. It is important. For, it is more important for her to be her mom because guess what? North may not like if Kim was being a good mom because she's not a good mom, not even by chance. Um, she's okay. She does what she can and how she knows best. But if Kim was a good mom, she would not be worried about her daughter loving her at this moment because you know what? You see, when that child steps into adulthood and when her eyes are open to the evil that, um, you know, lurks around her in the dark, she will be really grateful that her mom did everything to protect her, not just physically, even her mental health, right? She's going to be grateful at that point. So Kim has really lost touch with reality. You can definitely tell that she's hurt, and as time passes, it's becoming more evident that she's hurt, about her ex-husband remarrying again. But, hey Kim, the guy told you, if you want to marry Tom Brady, maybe he was telling us something that um, we didn't even know or we're still not paying attention to. He told you that if you want to marry Tom Brady, go ahead and do so. Give your life to God. At that moment, he was telling you that he's about to move on. And so should you. You have his blessings. He was telling you that, irrespective of the fact that you have painted him to be O.J. Simpson and a man that would never allow you to be happy, is actually happy for you to move on and serve God. But with you being the crazy woman that you are, you and your mom and your entire family, you have to push another narrative because he's a black man, right? And because he's black, whatever you say, um, Hollywood will believe. White Hollywood, as a matter of fact. Because if you look, and if we're paying attention, most of the people who believe Kim's craziness is white Hollywood. You know, many people don't even believe it first to begin with black or white. And that's just the honest truth. We have people like Bethany Frankel, who really doesn't believe in Kim's bullshit nor or Chris Jenner, you know, we have um, so many other people, Candace Owens, 
and the list goes on, you know, who doesn't believe in Kim Kardashian. We have Megyn Kelly, you know, we have so many people that doesn't believe in Kim and her manipulated, um, manipulation tactics. So um, it's really sad to see Kim doing this to her child, thinking that she's being a good mom. But when North is 16, or before North is 16, North will be out of that house and uncontrollable. God forbid, I hope it doesn't go that way. But based on what Kim is doing to that child, at I believe that it's just a matter of time, you know, before things really go goes downhill and hit the media. Um, I believe that the only reason why North will refrain from doing some things is because she knows that her dad doesn't play like that and she will have to answer to her dad. I know that there is inside um, problems at this point because of what Kim is doing to North. And I believe that um, North is not liking what her dad, sorry, what her dad is saying to her, right? I believe that Ye is having a stern conversation with um, North and she's not liking it. And as such, you know, she could be feeding into her mom's um, exploitative tactics. But guys, I'm really being tactful with my words. As you can hear, I'm taking it slow. I'm taking it calm because this video is centered around Kim weaponizing North against you because this man is refusing Kim's demands. She feels as though she owns this man and he is just done with her. He doesn't want to have anything to do with her. He's not going to leave Bianca for Kim because... Uh, let's be honest, Kim does not bring anything to the table when it comes to Ye. Maybe she will for some other man, but Ye made Kim. He made that woman. I know she's acting ungrateful, but she'll get her karma. We're not praying for it. We've seen it. We've seen how God works when it comes to Ye. I've made a joke saying that, um, you know, karma has to be a woman because karma is like, I'm going to stick beside him. Karma doesn't play when it comes to you. And Kim needs to wake up and realize that before ish it's rock bottom. But guys, I have to keep it subtle. I have to keep it as calm as I can because when it comes to kids, I'm very protective of kids, even if that child isn't mine. And I just want to say what I have to say you know, without saying too much or going overboard. But this is all I want to share. Kim, you know, treating her child like a Kardashian thought when this child has talent. She doesn't need to be on the internet gyrating, um, showing any belly, any back, um, turning her ass to any lyrics. She doesn't need that. She's talented, right? Let's focus on this child's education and naturally born talent that God gifted her with, right? That comes in her DNA from her dad, not from her mom, because we know Mommy Kim, only talent is to lay on her back. But guys, that's all I want to share in this video with you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. See you guys next time. Bye, guys.